What's going on everybody? We're finally getting to install the axe pipe on the Gallardo. Um, I got my trusty old headlamp here. I think it's a good investment if you're going to work on any car or in a garage or whatever. Just get yourself a damn headlight. It makes it easier. Anyways, check it out. There's the X pipe. We're rocking and rolling on this. Kind of one of the things uh, people like to do, and it's a good idea, is do the masking tape around the edges of the body. So if there's any fitment or you're rubbing away, you got the paint somewhat protected. We got that going on. And obviously we have to remove the rear bumper to get the exhaust off of this car. 2005, I believe all pre-LP uh, Gallardos are the same. And we have the grills removed, all three grills removed here. You got three millimeter Allens. You've got eight here, four there, and then these exhaust tips, you got four more Allens there. I wanted to remove those. Makes the job a little bit easier. You got to remove all these torques. You're going to need a lot of, just a complete tool set, you know, no messing around. Torques, 10 millimeters, 8 millimeters. We have this shield removed already torx bits all the way around t25 i believe on those so one thing um that might be fool fool a few people is the um side marker lights and obviously you have license plate lights here and there needs to be some sort of wiring from the car to here well, make sure you get all that shit unplugged. It's a Lamborghini. You don't want to fuck it up. So um, what you got here is actually the connector for the license plate light uh, unit. And it runs up through here back behind here. You can get to it once the grills are off. But you probably wouldn't know um, just looking at it. It's hidden behind here. Go ahead. Unclip that. I have it taped up here. So we're not going to rip that off. Um, while we're removing the bumper, we want all this stuff disconnected so we don't have to uh, stop in the middle of it and, and jeopardize dropping the um, bumper or whatever. As far as these side markers, I took the, this one out, but in all actuality, they pull right out of the um, housings. It's just you know, a little bit of a rubber fitting, and that's it. You can pull them right out um, of their other bolts. 10 millimeter bolt and nut right here. And actually there is two 10 millimeter bolts up there that actually provide a pinch fit for the bumper to the body seam. You want to loosen those. Um, and always it's a good idea, guys. Use some WD-40 and stuff on some of these fittings and things. It makes life a whole lot easier. That's one thing I've always noticed. We got this side ready to rock, got this light pulled out of there you have to obviously remove both rear wheels these splash shields again lots of torx bits i like to put all the torn apart stuff back kind of in the places that they came off of near the area keep it organized so i'll give you a clip as soon as we got the bumper off and i'm taking the original exhaust off Give you guys a look. Got the bumper off. We're getting close. Take the uh, rear bumper frame impact assembly, the black bar off too, and made some little marks on both sides so that we get everything lined up exactly the way that it came off. So these mufflers are huge, <laughs> but yeah we're almost there we got the stock exhaust mufflers off kind of a quite the job to actually get those off of there lots of wd-40 everything came loose little the guillotine clamps between here and the cats a little rusty but they came off okay there's the cats they're huge that's for sure here's the stock exhaust mufflers 
shine in there, looked in there with a the mirror and all that. It's like no man's land in there. So who knows if the pipe channels around. It looks pretty small. I would say maybe two inches inside of there. So we're gonna free this, free this guy up with this new hex pipe for sure. I'm gonna test fit that and we'll get you another pick. All right, update. We have the X pipe sitting in there, test fitting it right now. First things first, the joint between the cat outlets to the inlets of this pipe, they were off on each side right here. That one and that one. What I had to do was loosen the cats at their mounts. They're on like a swivel mount right there on both sides just to move them I don't know an eighth of an inch or so so these lined up real nice now I'm testing everything X pipes in I would say the X pipes pretty close to the E gear actuator and these tranny cooler lines gonna have to do something about that I believe either wrap the exhaust or make a shield custom shield to protect that stuff otherwise it looks like it's fitting okay did some measurements real quick should line up with the exhaust tips we'll keep you posted might be done for the day though we got uh, other things to do all right we're back day two um, we have it installed I got the heat shield up here, test fit and everything. I added these um, support brackets because I thought it'd be a good idea, a little extra reinforcement um, for the exhaust system. And also got this nice heat shield here. It's pliable. We're gonna protect the um, E-gear, back of the transmission, these cooler lines. I definitely wanna keep the heat away from that stuff. So we got this here from DEI fits pretty nice. It's actually for titanium exhaust. It's a exhaust heat shield. So that should work out really good. Hold up with the heat. And we will proceed to get you a cold start up on this new exhaust soon. Okay, the moment of truth. Hopefully it's not too loud. Cold start with the new exhaust, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how she sounds. Let's give you a sound bite. 